Hi everybody, welcome to part two of my horse and I am going to uh, finish this up today. Uh, there's not that much to do actually, but there's just a few little things I want to um, work on. Uh, I want to work on this ear a little bit. Um, we have to like make this a little bit warmer through here and you know just put some of this bluish shades in through here which I think we did some. And uh, I got to fix this too because it's just not um, matching with the rest of it. So um, I will work on this and uh, I hope you uh, join me for this part two and that you did the part one. You got things together with this. And uh, let's begin. Okay. All right. So let's see here. Um, I am going to get my Titan Buff. And I'm going to use my number six brush. And that's kind of warm, so that kind of like gives that a little bit of warmth here. It's the off-white. Just kind of moving it through here and feathering it up into the rest of his, his mane here. bringing it around here okay now I'm gonna grab some white I'm still using that same brush and I'm going over this here I want this to be more white for now Just going to get a little bit of water here on my brush and go into that white again because that white is just a little bit um, dry here. Okay, so I'm going to add that white here just carry it on down. Just kind of blend it into that Titan buff. the tight and buff didn't even wash my brush just kind of blending that up into that just kind of giving it that little bit of warmth more of the white want that a little bit cleaner all right I'm going to put a little bit of white on this here a little bit kind of just kind of dry brushing that a little right above the eyes here too. Okay. Now the ear. I'm going to grab some black because I the ear is not the way I want it to be. And uh, you know what else? I want to get a little bit of black into that area also. So I'm grabbing my black. And I'm still using that same number six. Just a little line through here, part of the nose, 
Okay. Okay. Put some of this in here. Some black. Bringing it down through here. Okay. Um, let's see here. There's a touch of black up in through there also, so I'm going to grab some more of that. Make it come to a nice chiseled edge on your brush. And I want to put this like right along here. I'm not sure. Oh yeah, that's going to work. That's good. Okay. And... Um, just kind of want to get a little bit more blackish color right through here almost like a comma and this is just dry brushing it so I'll probably add a little bit more blue there just kind of coming down on that Okay, now I'm going to grab some of that bluish shade that we put into here. Um, I think it was this one. I don't know. No, that's not going to work. I think it's a little bit of tight and buff in the ultramarine blue. Kind of just dry brush this. Just dry brushing. Just dry brushing it. And I also want to put some of this into his mane here. Just I know we have some already in there, but just to kind of give it a little bit of highlight on some of this area here. Same with this. All right, now I want to get that ear a little bit better. Now, I didn't rinse my brush, and I'm just going to make a little, um, kind of, has to have some sort of black in here. Make it look more like an ear would be a little dark through here. Like that. And this ear here, too, can be a little bit deeper right in through here okay just draw that little line by the right here okay that kind of pops that out a bit Um, around here I want to just kind of darken it a little bit so I'm just going to dry brush this uh, this is kind of what we want because we want a little bit of um, so it doesn't look so flat here you know with his face just kind of giving it a little shadow just a little shadow and I you know what I'm gonna take this up a bit I think because I'm not sure if I like this right here mm, just doesn't look natural here And I think, well, actually it probably should be a little bit more of that white. Okay, let me just rub off my brush a bit. Kind of want to get that shadowy look in here. Just a little here, nothing. Just kind of coming down a smidge. And I may put some, some more of that um, grayish shade on top of it just to kind of give it a little bit more
incorporate some here. Yeah, I'm going to make this a little bit more closed here. It comes up more there. to look a little natural oops more natural you know okay all right um now the other part that i wanted to clean up a bit just kind of give that shadow a little bit more like darker gray kind of blending it in with that a little bit of darker gray get my um, rake brush with some of those just get a little bit of water on my rake brush tap it into my white highlight through here instead of being black all the way just kind of giving it a little bit more highlight here because you're gonna see that in a in um, this wooded kind of thing because it's kind of getting old and it changes colors and all those things so all right I am still going to get some of that, uh, let me wash out my brush here. I want to fix the mouth a little bit more. Get some of that warm here. Just kind of bring that up for now. Because I don't like it. <laughs> I may have to redo that whole thing there. That whole area. I think I want to bring some of this. I know what I want to do here. Kind of. Oop. Kind of. Oh, okay. I'm gonna do is wipe that. I'm gonna bring this down some. not real happy with the way that mouth is and I just feel that I need to fix that maybe with some of that blue I'll get that in there um, all right so I want to get some uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna get my detail brush and I think what I want is maybe my liner brush let's see if I can find it amongst all my goodies here. I think I need a liner. Sometimes it's hard to find them amongst all the other things that are here. Let's see what this is here. Oh, that's a flat. Because they're a little smaller. So. They're not handy, handy. Handy, handy. Where are they? Okay, well, I guess I don't have that handy. Let's see. I'll 
just use my little, my teeny weeny little brush. Now I'm going into my red oxide. I'm going to get this a little bit wet. And I am bringing down some of this here. Oops. Okay, we want to wipe that off. That was just a little too much. Let's see if we can get that off of there. I think we can. Okay. So just want to get a little bit of a point. Kind of just, I don't want to, I'm going to come back here. Maybe that'll be better. Uh, not bringing it close to that area. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. You want this pretty wet. So. Like an ink-like consistency. I'm not sure. See if I can do it this way. I'm not sure if it'll work. Just part of the hair coming down. Well, I'm sorry too. want some of that to come down. Little piece there. And some of these too. Uh, uh, I gotta find that liner brush. Um, I'll be right back. Alright, I did find it. Uh, this is a 10 over 0. And uh, I think that this will be exactly what I need. Oops, sorry. Just uh, knocked out some of my lighting here. Give me one second. <laughs> I'm just, I'm always having issues, aren't I? Ugh. Things just keep falling over. This lighting that I bought is just not as good as I thought it would be, unfortunately. Another second here, and we'll get this straightened out. So, you know, some days it just gets a little hectic, doesn't it? There we go. All right. Hopefully that'll help. And I gotta get this up. I think when I I stepped on it, unfortunately, and my strip is just a little messed up too okay so I got my little liner uh, I'm wetting the paint again wetting it pretty pretty good here and this will help okay want to get some of those little hairs that come over see that's so much better so much better Okay, and uh, even on his little eyebrow there, we can probably, so you roll that in that uh, wet paint. You want it to come to a nice little point. Hold it back. Okay, um, now I'm going to get some of this white and do the same thing. Rinse out my brush. Because there's a lot of places that need that with the white. It's kind of funny because this was almost done before, but it was going into almost three hours for a painting. And I, I know that people get bored right away. So I kind of do what I can to eliminate that. Uh, right here, we're going to have some hairs. Uh, 
um, also here. Uh-oh, we want some of these hairs coming out of here. Now we have some kind of coming out, but not a little bit. Because this kind of just finishes the painting, you know? So we want to finish that mouth, get that a little bit better. Also. And this will hold a lot of paint, uh, surprisingly, this little brush. So uh, when you start to run out, you just kind of get some more. Kind of, oop, that might be a little too thick. Too much here. Always kind of go upward if you can. Away, you know, like when you're coming out of something like this, you want to kind of bring it out like that. You don't have to have a lot of these little hairs. Just a few. All right, now let me see if I can get this little uh, guy here. We can just come down with this. There, that's nice now. Make this a little bit of a highlight. Okay, now we're going to put some little whiskers on his mouth area. Some of this coming around here, too. I wanna... Okay, bring that out a little bit. And um, just here, I want to kind of outline this. Comes a little bit through here. And down. Okay, I'll get some of those little hairs in there too. A couple more prominent ones. Just kind of bringing it through here too. Don't need a lot, just a few, giving it a little highlight. Okay, um, yeah, this, this kind of goes through that whole thing there. This whole mane, front mane here. Just kind of. Bringing them down like this. A little bit of horsey hair. And a slightly. Touch, touch light, touch lightly. Touch lightly. Okay. Now let's get some of those hairs on his little um, snout. A little more here. Okay. A little highlight here. Okay, let me get some hairs on that area. They're actually kind of almost just wherever you can get them put in here. Just gonna kind of just very lightly. And, uh, let's see here. Okay, I'm gonna kind of highlight this too over here. Part of the nose. Can I get those little hairs coming out of there? Little 
hairs coming out. Make sure you have a nice tip here. So. Hold it backwards, you know. And they're going to come out in different directions, so just don't go too crazy. here too. Just want to kind of hit them. Ooh, a couple longer ones. Uh, we're just about finished here. I just want to get some lighter hairs up in here too. I gotta get some lighter ones up in there. Sally, what's going on? Hmm? What you up to? What's happening? few little hairs in here, just a few. Just right in here. Just give this little horse some personality, huh? Okay, um, I'm going to put some of those bluer things down there, too. I'm going to just get my little round brush once again and just dot it up a little bit more down here because 
I had erased some of that. So let me see here where my blue is. We're done. I, I think I have it everything that I wanted here. Um, I just want to get that one little spot there. It looks a little funny and uh, probably what I just need to do is get my rake brush again and go into my white. down on it make sure those little that this is um, kind of dried out it kind of come up here a little there we go through here kind of just giving it a little bit of texture and I think we have our horse I think he looks great real nice very nice this is a hard painting and uh, if you can capture the look you've got it made and I hope you enjoyed this class. Um, stay tuned for more. Uh, and don't forget to um, like and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Make a comment. Tell me what you'd like to see in the future. And we'll see if we can help uh, paint those out. Because I'd like to show you anything that you need to know. Or are having a hard time with. Um, a lot of times, you know, it's... A lot of these artists that are on Facebook, I mean not Facebook, but where we're at here uh, on YouTube, uh, they'll show you some things and it's always good to get another perspective, someone else's ideas on something, because the more you get different ideas, the better you become. Everybody does it a little differently and uh, we just all try to capture it you know the way we can so hopefully i've helped you out on this one and um until next time bye